In problem number 22 of Appendix A, we look at a parameterization of the unit circle. And a parameterization that we look at is cosine of kt, comma, sine of kt, and where k is greater than zero. And the larger values of k that we pick, the faster that we'll be traveling around the unit circle. But the curve that we end up with is still the same, uh, same familiar unit circle. And we want to show that uh, p prime of zero is, does depend on k, but the unit tangent vector at that same point or at the same time zero um, is actually independent of k. So let's just compute uh, p prime of zero and the unit tangent vector at that point. So see that p prime of t is well, the derivative of the first component is negative uh, k sine of kt. And in the second component, we have k cosine kt. And of course, p prime, if we evaluate this at t equals 0, then well, in the first component, we have um, right. Well, in the first component, we'll have uh, sine of zero, so end up with zero. And in the second component, we'll have k times cosine of zero, which is just one. So we see that uh, p prime evaluated at zero um, definitely does depend on uh, on the value of k, uh, not in the first not in the first coordinate, but um, certainly in the second coordinate. Uh, now let's compute uh, t prime, uh, excuse me, uh, the unit tangent vector corresponding to the point t equals zero. Uh, first we'll need the magnitude of the velocity, the magnitude of p prime. And well p prime is equal to this vector here, so this will be the square root of the first component squared, which is k squared sine squared of kt plus k squared cosine squared of kt. And now we can factor out uh, k squared from both of these terms. So we have square root of k squared times sine squared kt plus cosine squared kt. So we have pull out a um, square root of k squared, or just k, and we're left with square root of sine squared of, uh, of kt plus cosine of kt. But by the Pythagorean identity, that's just 1. So we see that the magnitude of, um, of the velocity vector at any point t is just equal to k. So finally, let's look at the unit tangent vector at the point. Um, let's just look. Yeah, we'll look at the point 0. Now this will be equal to. Uh, the velocity vector evaluated at zero over the magnitude of the velocity vector at zero. And we saw from our first calculation that uh, this is equal to zero comma k. Of course, we can factor out a k and just write this as k times zero one. And we just computed that the uh, computed the magnitude of the velocity vector. Um, at any time t, actually, so certainly at time 0 is equal to k. So here our k's cancel out. And we see that uh, the unit tangent vector at 0 is the vector 0, 1, regardless of what k is.